Later. Wait, where are you going? Oh, sorry for the short notice, but I can't come to the game today. I gotta make some changes to my deck. I thought you were playing one of the new pre-cons. I am. Exquisite invention. So what changes could you possibly need to make then? I don't know yet, but I feel like not tinkering with the deck is an insult to Sahili and everything she stands for. But not to R&D, the literal actual professionals who put the deck together in the first place. They'll understand because true innovation only comes when you have the courage to shape anew, to make steady progress in the pursuit of perfection. Neither of those cards are in the deck, BT Dubs. The question isn't are those cards in the deck? I assure you they aren't. The question is, should they be in the deck? I mean, I haven't played it, but I'm guessing not, since adding them would probably make it worse. That sounds like quitter talk. Right, yes. Setbacks are just the price of progress. Ooh, good suggestion. I think. Anyway, I gotta go. No, wait, don't, don't. F fine, leave then, Sin since you've already left. And now I'm just gold blooming here. Hey, so Paul can't make it tonight because he needs to go ruin his new deck. But thanks to a little friend called Goreclaw, I will be running my life's work, my masterpiece, Bear Force One. Now, why is it called that, you ask? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Yes, Cameron, every creature is a bear. Great deduction. And what are you two bringing to the table? Angus McKenzie. He's a medium, burly boy, who knows only hugs. I arrive with razor wit, great hair, and Muldrotha control. Are you running high tide in that deck? Please stop asking me that. Oh, come on! You're still holding a grudge? It was only water. Besides, I gave you ample opportunity to stop moping on the ground like a big baby. I didn't think you'd actually do it. That's rule number one of being friends with Adam. Oh, I'll do it. Don't you call me that. What, friend? Cold. Oh, don't take it personally. He does this to me all the time. Disavowing kinship is one of the few ways Cameron can express emotion. No, it's not. I treasure these times we spend together. I hate this and I hate you. Such friendship. Angus is gonna feel right at home here. Ah, not cool. Okay, cast Palaka Worm. Say go. Right. The first step of the beginning phase is untap. Hold on, hold on, I'm not... Sure, I'm done with your end step yet. Well, I'm tapped out, so if you're trying to get tricky with your neonate, I can't stop you. Shh, I'm trying to see if you're dead. I'm at 27. Yeah, like I said, I just want to see if you're dead. Give me a second to do some math. Okay, well, let me know when I'm dead or not. I would love to, but I keep losing count because someone keeps interrupting me. How is this so complicated? You have a vampire neonate and two epicures of blood, so activate the neonate and drain me for two. No, wait, no, three. Not so easy, is it? Well, I just solved it. I take three. No, but you don't know what I'm going to do on my turn. You could tell me. <sighs> I'm not falling for that. I'm tapped out. And I'm not taking any chances. What are you playing around? Force of will? This is sealed lead. Yeah, and I'm trying to win. Okay, I'm going to go get myself a cup of coffee. Do you want anything? Uh, no, thanks. Pen? Paper, calculator, abacus. Aha! No, wait, that can't be it. Uh, on second thought, can you get me that calculator? You're lucky I'm such a good friend! Stop mocking me. You're playing grizzly bears in Commander. I'm a man of my word, and when I said every creature was bears, I meant it. You have the entire breadth of magic spread out before you, and you play uh, grizzly bears. Don't listen to him, Graham. You play your crap creatures. Not every bear is a slam dunk. Now, does it resolve? Well, of course it resolves. I'm not gonna waste a counter spell on grizzly bears. Counter spell. Oh, I, I wouldn't write that down, unless you have a lot of paper. Anything else? So you're not concerned about two two bears? <laughs> Obviously not. Well, then you won't mind me casting Bearscape. It's an enchantment. I can pay one and a green to exile two cards from my graveyard, and I get another bear. Absolutely not. Cryptic command, countering that and returning bear cup to your hand. I thought you said you weren't going to waste a counter spell on a bear. This isn't even a bear. It's just bears in potentia. Please, Graham, cryptic command is no mere counter spell. Eh, technically. This is a vital part of my deck's plan. Combined with Tassiger and Eternal Witness, this forces yeah, the base... Yeah, no, I'll counter that. Why? 
I heard it was a vital part of your deck's plan. Aren't long games fun? I'm having fun. Ugh. James, ready or not, I'm coming in. I think I've almost found the line. I am now confident this is beyond the slowest play. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, this is regular rules enforcement. Ah, oh, crap. Did I forget to carry the two? I might need a few more minutes. You absolutely can get a warning for slow play at regular rules enforcement. Well, we're not at the store, so there's no judge to ask. Judge! Hi, friends. <clears throat> what can I do for you? My opponent has been holding priority in my end step for 37 minutes. Hmm. Well, there's no warning for slow play at regular rules enforcement. Ah! But I am going to have to ask you to play faster. Thanks. Well, that was terrifying, but useful. Now you heard the man. Move it along. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I got it. Okay. Activate Neonate. You lose three life. I gain one life. Pride Mate gets bigger. Sure. Hold priority in my upkeep. Ah. If you don't stop this right now, I'm going to Google your name, find your mother, and tell her how rude you're being. I think my mom would be proud of me and Angus for finding a nonviolent solution. If nothing dies, then Muldrotha has nothing she can bring back. Yeah. Look, just let something die. I'm begging you for the speed of the game, if nothing else. Fine. It goes against everything we stand for, but fine. Thank you. Oh, new plan. Uh, Tassiger's here, uh, paying retail for him. Uh, activate his ability uh, in and- In response to that, one in a green, give my death hood cobra death touch. Pounce, they both die. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. You said, let something die. That cobra isn't even a bear. It's a 2-2 two -two for two. That's literally the definition of a bear. Oh, quit whining. Now you have something to bring back with Muldrotha. When do you have mana next turn? Why didn't you delve away some of that cost? Kind of greedy. You have made up powerful enemy this day. Are you done? I will never be done. I can take my turn, though. I'm going to draw my card for the turn and then play four bearers, Blade. You can't be serious. It's literally four bears, my dude. Nice. Equip to Runeclaw Bear and attack Cameron. Mm -hmm. uh, in response, I'm going to fog with Angus. Thank you. But seriously, could you never play this deck again? Oh, for sure. I actually have no idea how it wins. My turn? No, Cameron. It's Kobe for accuracy, Yeet for distance. Oh, no. All right, my deck is finished. Who wants the battle? Paul, you can't show up four hours late to a commander game. But my deck is perfect now. I added Lux Cannon, Microsynth Lattice, Contagion Engine, and for my win con, Dark Steel Reactor. Is Sahili still the commander? What? No. I went with Padim Console of Innovation. And I also saw the Paradox Engine for Retrofitter's Foundry. I'm running Thrummingbird instead of Thopter Assembly. Whoa, and I whoa, replaced whoa, whoa, the... whoa, whoa, whoa. You're running Mono Blue Artifact Control? Yeah. Woof, pass. Yeah, hard pass. Okay, well, what if I play this exquisite invention pre-con? 